You didn't think about being scared or anything. It's like you might sometimes wonder, well, you might be a prisoner of war forever. You never knew. When you were getting out, that was the thing. I mean, how long? How long are they going to keep you? You never know that when you're a prisoner of war. I had a choice of being drafted or enlisted. So I knew some of the uh, members of the 28th uh, Division, and I decided I would join the Pennsylvania 28th Division instead of being drafted. Had, at that time, it was a square division, and we were the 55th Brigade headquarters. Well, then they decided to make it a triangular division, and they did away with the 55th Brigade headquarters and made it the 28th Mechanized Reconnaissance Troop. We were told to uh, the 28th, said that we're going to put you in uh, place uh, in Luxembourg and uh, we're going to put you there. And we ask you not to retreat regardless what takes hold off those Germans as long as you can because we need every hour or whatever to prepare. So we held them off. Well, it wasn't too long, half a day or so. And we, our captain, Meisenhower, said at that time, he said, well, maybe we try to get, get out of this because they had us surrounded. The Our River was between the, the Germans and uh, our, our outfit. So they had surrounded us, and uh, as we tried to escape, why, well, it was the stretch of the road where they could shell us, but they did, and we came to a curve. Well, I was on the first vehicle that, uh, since I was in the headquarters, the uh, captain said we're trying to get out. I was on the first vehicle, and we were through that open stretch and came to a curve. Well, he tramped on the gas, and besides, I was sitting on some of the ammunition on the back of the Jeep, and when he made that turn, it threw me off on the side of the road. And uh, I ran. That's recorded, where I ran to catch up the Jeep and get on it again. Well, we went down that hill to the main intersection, and there the Germans had it all blocked. We could see heavy equipment, all their armed heavy equipment lined up in the rows headed towards us. I was captured on December the 18th, 1944, and uh, we were more or less a walking outfit then. They took their watches and their overshoes. They said, we need those for our troops. So we gave those up, and it was snow on the ground at that time. It was very cold and a severe winter. And we didn't have too much. We had our outfits on, which were jump uh, clothing. It was usually fairly heavy. But uh, we got blankets or something like that we carried. I don't know where they came from, but there were some blankets we carried. I was, one of us, uh, six other. Americans and some British. There were four. There were four British that were captured in uh, Dunkirk, liberated by the Russians, and they they just pushed through. We we were on the road, and that night our guard said, 
go to the bivouac your side of the road. So we lay down the side of the road, and uh, the next morning our guards were gone. An ambulance came to pick up uh, some of the wounded, and they said, well, well, there were two Americans. Two Americans and the other were British. So we took the two Americans, took us to the airport, took us to the airport and flew us to Camp Lucky Strike. And uh, that's where we were liberated and sent back to the United States. From, yeah, May the 9th. I was liberated by the Russians and it was two days after they gave up to the Americans. That made it the May the 9th of 1945 that uh, it was li actually liberated.